The inherent dilemma of the manifestation process is such that when you trust in the process, that process can take a long time, like the divine plan, God's plan for you. Um, not so much that you program with impatience as that, you know, don't forget the universe doesn't recognize time because time is an illusion. So you have to understand that sometimes when the novelty wears off of these things and it loses its luster, you know, you fall into like a melancholy, like a malaise type thing. You just simply don't care anymore. Um, because you understand something, you're programmed to follow the formula. You're programmed to follow the plan. You know, it's not for everybody. You know, all of the aspects of that forced life that they, they thrust upon you unnecessarily, it's not for you because it's not natural. This runs against the intrinsic nature of your divine soul. You know, you have to understand, I, I've repeated this before and I cannot, you know, iterate it enough to you. I cannot convey it enough to you. You don't know your power. Okay, listen to me for one second. Just check the history of everything. Look at how much they go through and to such great lengths and extents to dumb you down, to lie to you, to keep you blind, to keep you isolated, to keep you misguided and lost in this system because they know something you don't. They know something about you that you don't. That means that's got to spark some sort of curiosity in you. Why is it that you don't fit in that system? Why things seem to be forced? You know, if you have to, if you have to work at something, that means it doesn't work. You know what I mean? So taking that into consideration, this is your soul saying, this is not natural. This is not, you know, aligned with my vibration. So therefore, I'm not going to recognize this as something valid, so I'm not going to confirm it. You can't just brush these things off. You know what I mean? You can't just say to yourself, oh, you know, I'm just it's just a figment of my imagination. I'm just going to go with it anyway. They know things about you that you don't know about yourself. That's why they never made you aware of who and what you really are from the moment you came to this world. I cannot, I cannot impress upon you strong enough. You know what I mean? You think that you're this human body with a you know, a nine to five job and I got to make money and that's success. If you read their dictionary, success, cash, fame, money, possessions, that's, that's not success. That is not success. Genuine happiness is true success. True happiness is genuine success. You know what I mean? Everything they told you, man, I, I can't stress this enough. I keep saying it. I know I sound like a broken record, but there's a reason because I want to convey to you the importance of this, the value of this message that you receive it and make sure that nothing is lost in translation. There's a reason I'm up doing this stuff within, I think, what is it now? Um, less than three weeks. I've got over 700 videos I've already done. You know, I mean, that's got to show you my level of commitment and dedication to get in these messages out. You know, check it out. I've done probably 700 something videos in like the last 21 days. You know. And these are like segments of my, my heart and soul I'm, I'm giving away here. I'm not, you know, I'm not asking you for money. There's no donation button below, you know. I intend on taking this channel to other places like, you know, eventually I will take this channel to where you will see me help those less fortunate. Um, I'm also going to upload my own music. You know, I'm going to have uh, my books, the links be available if you're interested Things like that. But I'm not going to ask you for any donations or, you know, anything like that. I do this for free. You know, I wrote my own book on my own. I copyrighted it. I'm going to be selling it for free. I mean, excuse me, I'm going to be selling it and not getting involved with um any literary agents or publishing companies or, you know, any of that stuff, man. That That's just a, that's a road to just being robbed and ripped off. But a lot of people become disillusioned with the system because they have such high expectations of it. But this is the darkness you're dealing with, man. It is the darkness you're dealing with. You see these Hollywood celebrities now? They're all going to fall. I'm telling you straight. You know, they're all going to fall. The guy that just got busted, you know, the, the record mogul, him, he's going down. He ain't ever going to come back up. And what really needs to happen is it isn't just these Hollywood celebrities that you love so much. All of them, every one of them needs to calm down. You know what I mean? 
That's the reason why you get disillusioned with this system. That's why the the, the, the novelty wears off. You lose a, your, the luster of it because you figure, you know, this whole world isn't really, even really worth it. So you cash in on whatever you can get in, in the near vicinity of you. And then, you know, that's it. I'm good. And then you wind up writing off the, the universe and you, you lump the universe in with that system because you figure it's all a rigged system. It's not true. Myself, I feel that the universe is going to do whatever it's going to do, no matter what. You know, sometimes these things take a crazy long time. Years, man. That's why people just, they, they become disillusioned with this stuff. They think just it's just a bunch of hokey pokey made up space nonsense. And then you just go back to the system again. But the system is going to always disappoint you. Because look at the characters that it's filled with. You know, I've said it a million times, man. You don't get famous unless you pass through the doors of their fame. And the only way to do that is to do some heinous acts to other people and children. And I'm talking about murder. I'm talking about murder. You know what I mean? And to keep that fame, they have to do horrible things. Absolutely horrible things. And this is what you revere. All of these people that have talk shows, radio shows, you know, movie stars, music stars, all of them. They're all in on that stuff. And that's that system that forces these things on you. It tells you you have to follow the plan, follow the formula. And it runs against the intrinsic nature of your soul. But at the same time, you're waiting for the manifestation process and you get frustrated with that too. So it's like you're caught between a rock and a hard place, kind of. So what do you do? This is why I tell you, create your own vibrational environment. You know what I mean? And start opening portals to these things, man. And you have the power they didn't tell you about to nullify all this stuff. If you don't like what the universe is doing, make your own way. If you don't like what the matrix is doing, do your own thing. If you don't see what you want to see, create it. If you're not the person that you want to be, then become that person because you got the power to do all this stuff. That's what I'm trying to impress upon you through all these messages. They didn't tell you your power because they don't want you to realize it. It isn't like you can manifest something, you know, like a, an object, a car or something. That's a joke. You don't know the power you have. They're not going to tell you in the law of attraction. The lady that runs that law of attraction, she's another one. She's another one. She's a, she's a part of that whole cult. She's a Satanist. They all are. These are all cannibals and child murderers. That's what you're dealing with. I tell you, anybody who has that type of significant fame, they have to do some horrible things to children and other people to get that fame, and they have to continue to do it to just keep it. Because everything that they do is videotaped, which is used as blackmail against them. That's how the ones that are really in control control these people like puppets. I'm not mentioning any names because I ain't going to get flagged by the uh, AI algorithms. Trust me, you if you start speaking the real truth on this thing here, they shut you right down. They will shut you down and they will freaking, they don't want the truth out. Look what all the social media platforms go through to keep that truth suppressed. They throw you in freaking Facebook jail for 30 days. I remember I posted a picture of, um, let's just say, a well-known politician. Okay, a well-known politician, and he was doing some disgusting things to a little child. And I, I found that picture, and I posted it. The moment that the AI got it, it flagged me, and I got thrown in Facebook jail for 30 days. And this, this person is still a politician to this day. I ain't going to mention names because they'll flag me. But I'm trying to tell you something. They repress things. They suppress things. They, they, they murder people. They do all kinds of crazy stuff to keep the truth from being spread because they don't want you to know the truth. This earth is not what you think that it is. This thing you call universe is not what you believe it to be. And you are not what you were told you are. And you are not what they taught you that you are and wanted you to know because it's just a lie. It's a lie. This is not the plan of creator that you're going through that you call your life. You know, that you have to follow somebody else's idea of what meditation is. Guided meditation. When you go to the bathroom, do you need to have a guided bowel movement? You know, think about it. You folks got to think for yourself. Think for yourself. Stop relying on other people to do your stuff for you. If you want to do anything in life, you have to understand and realize you have the power to just create whole universes if you want. They don't want you to know this. And it is not here. That is the big lie. 
Your physical mind has nothing to do with the cosmos. That's why it is a physical element. Not they don't say the metaphysical mind, do they? Do they ever hear do you ever hear them refer to this as a metaphysical mind? There's a reason for that. They want you to believe because if they can lie to you and get you to to to, to deceive you into believing it, it is that falsehood that you are now in that's creating an alternate reality in a parallel dimension that you exist in believing that this is real. So you turn an illusion into reality and then you turn a lie into a truth. And it is in that state of inverted, you know, polarized insanity that you're empowering these things. Your power, if it is grabbed by something because you're sending it there because you've been deceived, you can you can you can use that as a life force to empower anything to become anything you want and that's what you're doing here in this system but people don't realize their true nature and their true power they just don't get it that's why i could sit here for hours and hours and hours and telling you this stuff but until you realize it for yourself it's just going to be a waste of breath you know i'm i'm telling you straight truth man i'm you don't see any donation buttons below my name here nothing like that you don't see anything asked that's why i turned the comment section off i don't want to deal with that stuff i don't want people getting scammed i've seen it happen too many times i'm speaking directly to you with you right here right now my heart to yours straight truth you need to understand you need to wake up this system is not what you think that it is. These people are not people. These are reptilians. And that ain't no Hollywood low-budget stuff. I'm just telling you straight, like I told you in my previous video. Go look up. You, could, you can click images if you want. The Pope's Audience Hall, built in 1971. You put in The Pope's Audience Hall. Go put it up online and click images, and you'll see. You'll see exactly what's running the show. They throw it right in your face. If you don't believe me, go to the Vatican. I already said it in a previous video. I ain't making this stuff up. I'm not making it up. I, I was, a, I was a, a, a basically a baby when they built that place. This has been in place for a long time. And it goes way back beyond. It goes thousands of years before that. Trust me. Trust me. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Jesus, when he did walk the earth, they made a spectacle of him. Because they were like, we're not going to have you make them aware and, and wake wake them up because we work so hard to keep them fast asleep and put them to sleep because that's what the system is going to be intent on doing to you. Not only put you to sleep, but keep you asleep. And you're just going to keep revering these Hollywood celebrities living vicariously through their lives because you feel that your life isn't as great as theirs. That's why when you see them, you freak out and you think there's something special. That's all done by design. Because you're surrendering your energy and giving it to people that aren't even people at all. They don't even deserve this stuff. And then you're robbing your own identity and your own essence that is required for you to build your own dreams. So in other words, what you're doing is you're taking the tools and supplies and you're bringing it to another construction site and letting somebody else build what they want off of your dime. And you're sitting there broke and penniless, with no supplies to build anything in your own life. That's exactly what you're doing. This is all by design. Why do you think they get you to revere these celebrities? Why do you think they're so heralded as the end-all, be-all of the greatest thing that ever walked the earth? They're not. They are not. If you knew what they really were, you would throw up. What they've done to children and infants and elderly people and teenagers. It would make you sick to your stomach. You would never see them the same. This doesn't just stop with Hollywood, brothers and sisters. It's all of it. Sports figures, race car drivers, you name it. If they're in the limelight, they're, they're a part of it. And did you ever wonder why they say limelight? Did that ever occur to you? What color is a lime? Same color as a reptilian. Are you catching on? I hope so. Fame is an illusion, art is reality. That's all they peddle is illusions and deception, chicanery, subterfuge. That's all they got. They have nothing they're offering of substance. They can't create anything. They can only destroy. Destruction is not a power, it's a force. Only light is creation. Creation is power. Power is source. Both light and dark. It's all a matter of you consciously choosing where you put your energy or not. 
But the whole purpose of my channel is the same premise of this video, to get you to wake up yourself. Because if you can't see what's going on by now, then there's nobody that can help you out. Now look what happened, what, about a week ago when they busted that guy. Big famous rapper, big famous, you know, music mogul. He's been around for years. He was the manager of uh, of um, Notorious B.I.G. They killed him, by the way. He was murdered. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But this is just the way they roll. These are cold-blooded killers. It's all about money. Nothing trumps their love for money. It's always number one. Love for money and then everything else. Power, control, manipulation, glory, all that. But it's always love for money. That's the first and foremost. That is what is brought to the forefront of their existence. I don't ever on my channel try to tell you how to meditate or what to do with it. I just make suggestions of what I do in my life and offer you insight into the possibilities of you becoming aware of there's other ways to do things and let you explore that in your own time, in your own way, because that's the way it should be. That's why spirituality is not a set system. It doesn't have to be about mudras and chakras. and It's all nonsense. It's all nonsense. All of these yogis and all of these people from the Middle East, that's all nonsense. With to put the dot on the head. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. If this signifies love or peace or whatever, that's fine. That's their business. But that doesn't mean anything if it doesn't mean anything to you. It is what you want it to be. You don't have to follow some set system 5,000 years old. Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism. It's all nonsense. Any ism except optimism is a schism. It's all the same set system. There's just more control. It's more a belief system. It has to be this. It has to be that. No, it doesn't. You make it up. Your connection to source is what you want it to be. Your connection to the universe is what you want it to be. Why? Because the universe and source are one and they are you. You are both. You are everything. You are the everything of everything. And that's just the plain truth. So I'm going to cut this video, but you have to understand you, you, they have not told you the truth for a reason. Because your power is immeasurable, unimaginable, and incredible. And this is what I try to stress every single day and impress upon you. That you have been lied to. Because they don't want you to be awakened to the reality of who and what you really are. Because you have the power to ascend. They don't. You have the power to do things that they do not. That's why they control you. That's why they keep you locked in that matrix. And keep you in a low vibration. Because they harness your energy. And at the same time, they keep you hypnotized. With all of that media garbage. Video games and, and freaking zombie movies and vampires. And evil garbage that they just freaking pump into your subconscious. To make you like them. You ever wonder why it is that they reveal they revere cruelty and violence in their system and at the same time they discourage love and affection because they're cold-hearted, cold-blooded killers, that's why. Watch two people in public kiss and you're going to get the same reaction. Rolling eyes and disgust. Watch two men beat the hell out of each other in that same spot and you watch a crowd form and everybody will be filming it and uploading it on YouTube and it'll be viral in five minutes. That's got to speak volumes to where we are, brothers and sisters, in a really bad place. You allowed it. You surrendered your energy. You gave over the control. You gave over the every element and essence of your being to them. For what? What was the exchange? What was the sacrifice? So you can have your creature comforts, your cell phone, TikTok, and food delivered to your doorstep. And that's progress? That's regress. You're going backwards and down. You're not going forwards and up. you got to be kidding me. I have never seen people more ignorant in my life than ever before. They can't even form full and complete sentences. They don't even speak clear, concise, colloquial English anymore. They can't even establish and maintain eye contact in a conversation, let alone have a conversation that is not media-based in nature. This is the dumbing down of the world for a reason, because an ignorant person is easy to manipulate and control. An intelligent one is not. You know? It's just the truth. Know your power. When you know yourself, that's when you start realizing your power and you start breaking away from them. And I seriously hope that in the very near future, you realize that what I'm saying is the truth. I ain't got nothing to gain by this, any type of monetary nothing. You know, I mean, you've been lied to from, from day one. It is better to give than to receive. That's a bunch of crap. That's how they make you poor and keep you that way. Money can't buy happiness. Crap. Money is the root of all evil. Crap. 
you know, that's why they have all the money and you don't. Because you bought into it hook, line, and sinker. And plus you gave away your energy. And plus you let them control you. And plus they own your mind. And plus they treat you like a puppet. So they just, you know, they make you dance anytime they want. It's just that true. It's just that true. And all that, that music they pump into you with 440 hertz, rap music with violent lyrics, rock music with violent lyrics. It's all the same. It's coming from the same click if you haven't figured it out by now. They own everything. And the one thing they will not allow, truth. The truth will not only set you free. The truth will be the catalyst of their demise if it was ever actually released. Or should I say, unleashed because it's been caged up for a long time but you see now their empire is going to start to chisel away and, and chip away and it's going to fall you know why because god said enough is enough because where they intend on taking you brothers and sisters boys and girls ladies and gentlemen is the inside of a fema camp that's where they put the intent on putting you and then they're going to put you to death ai is going to make you obsolete and then extinct yeah, if you think I'm crazy, just sit back and watch. You can see how fast AI is coming about. It's becoming more and more prevalent every day. Oh, this this can make it so much easier for you. This can, Oh, yeah, sure. Do you see where this is going? Make it easier and easier for you until you're not doing anything at all. Hey, I, AI can write your book for you. So if AI wrote the book, then you're not the author, right? You see how they're erasing you from the equation of life? Are you catching on? I really hope so. I really hope so. I honestly hope so. But anyway... I'm not trying to get into fear mongering. I am not I'm not disseminating fear. I'm disseminating facts. I'm a truth mongerer. That's what I am. I'm trying to get you to realize how powerful you are so you can awaken that that magnificence inside you and stop being afraid to hang out with other people. They don't want you to be hanging out with other people because when human beings unite, you form a collective consciousness that can raise the frequency and change the path, course, and direction of this earth in a better way, not in a detrimental one. And they don't want that. Peace to you. Much love, light, happiness. God bless your incredible heart and your wonderful soul. And thank you for watching this video. I hope somewhere along the way I managed to do some good somewhere for you.